Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome to another review. Today I'll be looking at the high grade Universal Century Gian Revive. And just like last time, I'm going to be re reviewing accessories, gimmicks, articulation, then my verdict. So let's get this guy off the stand, then I'll get into accessories. So now that we got the Gian off the base, I'll strip down of his accessories. Let's go over said accessories, and we'll start with the beam saber. Yep, this is called the beam saber in my last video. I was like positive this was called something other than a beam saber. Um, but yeah, on the wiki it says this is the Gans beam saber. Uh, I like the clear yellow effect piece. We don't get much uh, colors outside of the normal pink. So yeah, that's good to see other effect colors. I see green a lot like with the Zazabi. And it's just simple plug in, plug out. Next we'll have the missile shield. And it's pretty solid. It's pretty hefty too. Uh, the Gan could actually like has problems holding it up because of its heft. Um, it's like a cool little function in here. We'll pull that out. It's like a lot of articulation going on in here. And we got an extra right fist. The fist that has on right now, let me take that off for you, has a hinge right there. And it goes down. So it like tilts downward. Like it's it's not color accurate. It's a gray piece on that light blue, almost purplish, like kind of lavender color that the GAN has. Uh, but it's still functional. Like I said, we don't get many tilting hands like that. So it's really cool if you want to repaint this or modify it for another kit. That'd be really cool to have like another tilted hand that's articulated. So let's pop that. I like to keep this one on the GAN because it's more functional. Uh, now for to put the accessories on the GAN itself. We just pop off the beam saber. Instruction stage is pop that top off. I don't, I don't know if you heard the pop noise. And the handle just slides into the hand, right? Like that. And just put the guard right back on. There you go. Pop that on for you guys. To the GAN itself. Now for the shield, I'll pop off the arm. The arm is actually a pretty loose fit. Uh, that's one thing I have to get into later for my verdict. But the handlebar just slots in right so. You fold it over and have this these two clips hold onto the arm just fine. They don't sag a bit. They don't sit, like unclip or loosen over time. So yeah, it's pretty good. So there's the Gian with all of the accessories. It's a very bare bones kit, but what else can you expect with a Gian? Uh, it has but it needs, nothing else. So let's again strip this guy down and go over ex uh, articulation. Because this guy doesn't really have any gimmicks going on with him. And like the, like there's no special build techniques. It's a, it's a very simple revive. So starting with the head, we have that forward and back chicken movement. Look up that far, look down that far, and a side to side. So that's actually a pretty good head movement. Ooh, uh oh. Rut row. I guess I forced it a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, put that aside. The arm goes out like so. Now for the rest of the arm, I'm just going to pop it off like that. And the bicep goes all the way around. Even on the GAN, it just goes all the way around. We've got a nice uh, double bend at the elbow. It does leave this empty, ugly looking gap though. So I don't know how you'll feel about that. But that's it for the arm. The waist goes all the way around. Oh, okay, yeah, it goes all the way around. Get stuck for a second. Uh, there's two ball joints. 
but that one up there doesn't really do much. Uh, when you move this around, you'll mostly be moving the one at the bottom, but it is double ball jointed. So you do get a nice crunch and a good arcing back. Well, not really, it's kind of straight up, but still, it's there. Front skirts move forward like that. I didn't split the front skirts. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't feel like splitting them this time. But yeah, they go up that far. Side skirts and pop off the arms for you guys. Go up that much. And they go. They swing forward and back, but that's not really functional. And back skirt actually moves. Got a moving back skirt on a high grade kit. That's very rare. <laughs> Last time I saw that was the... Um, Strike Freedom Revive. And for the leg, kick all the way forward. You can move that front skirt out. And all the way to the back. Ooh, ooh, too much. <laughs> all the way to the back. That's actually really nice. Oh my goodness. Um, we do get a thigh swivel, but that's as much as you'd get with that. A good double bend at the knee. And the, the toe, or the feet, is actually on the hinge in that leg up there. So it swings forward and back that much. And it's on a ball joint, and the toe is also on a hinge. Ooh, one thing I almost forgot was a butterfly joint. So the arm swings out that much. So that's pretty much it for the Gyan. It's a pretty simple kit. Nothing else uh, was really in the box. Um... You've seen nub marks throughout the review. That is just one clip off the runner with the God Hand nippers. Nothing else. Um, there's nothing else really to add. It's a really basic uh, kit. Hardly any little to no panel lines. Uh, I mean, there's seams that disguise themselves as this panel lines. Uh, that's about it. Like, the backpack is pretty simple. Uh, it's like two parts slapped together. The beam saber is pretty nice. Sturdy, a thick beam. The shield does really good at what it does. It's a little bit too heavy, though. Like I said earlier, I'm going to pop the shield on to Mikuve himself right here. And holding holding him up, it does not do good. So, yeah, the shield definitely weighs it down. Like, even at any angle you have it, it just weighs it down. So, yeah. I don't know how that is with the Fumina, or not Fumina, Gyanko and her shields. I don't know if the... Um, if any other Gyan kits with shields like this, how heavy they are, but with the Gyan Revive, that is definitely, uh, one issue I have with the kit. That's it. Uh, out of 10, I'd rate this a 8 out of 10. Build process was nice, easy, fast, simple. Uh, didn't do anything out of the ordinary, with the exception of the shield, because the way you build... The handle grip is unique. I haven't seen anything like that before for a shield. So it's pretty good. If you want a kit that's simple, you like a Xeon, you like Xeon stuff, Gyan is a really good kit to buy if you just want that simple, easy build process. So that is it for today's video. Next time I'll be unboxing the High Grade Universal Century Gun Cannon Revive, another pretty simple, easy kit. And I'll see you guys next time.